Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. QuickBooks Online Plus displays the home page when you open a company file. The home page is shown by default whenever you open a new company file. The home page provides a starting point that allows you to access all the features of the program. The home page is not customizable, however the level of user access you possess will determine what is shown on the home page. Setting user access rights will be covered in a later chapter. The home page contains the navigation bar located along the left side of the screen. At the center of the top of the screen are three buttons in a button group. From left to right the buttons are the magnifying glass button, the create icon, and the recent transactions button. The magnifying glass button is used to find transactions. You can click the create icon to access the create menu. You can click the recent transactions button, which looks like a clock, to view transactions you have recently opened. In the upper right corner of the screen are two further buttons. From left to right they are the gear button and the help button. You can click the gear button to access a menu that lets you change options and settings for the company file. You can click the help button to access the help files for QuickBooks Online. Also shown at the right side of the home page under bank accounts is a listing of your bank accounts with bank balances that display what is currently entered in QuickBooks. Directly under bank accounts is an activities list that will display upcoming activities that need your attention. Directly under the create menu in the center of the screen you will see your company name. When you click on your company name a window will open that allows you to change your company name, address, telephone number, and add a logo. You can remove bank balances, total amounts, and the profit and loss section of the home page by using the private mode toggle button. This button is located at the top of the page, just left of the bank account section. Below the company name, there is an income section. This section has a color-coded money bar that shows open invoices, overdue, and paid last 30 days for the last 365 days. Clicking on any section of the money bar will open the sales transactions page. Beneath this section you will find the expenses graph that shows your expenses. The default for this graph is the last 30 days. There is a drop down box to the right of the word expenses that will allow you to adjust the length of time displayed in the graph. The options available to adjust the time are last 30 days, this month, this quarter, this year, last month, last quarter, and last year. When the expenses graph is clicked, it will open up a transaction report and list all of the expenses in their separate categories for the length of time selected. Directly under the expenses graph, you will find a profit and loss graph that shows the difference between your income and expenses. As with the expenses graph, there is a drop down box that allows you to select the length of time contained in the graph. The options available to adjust the period are the same as the expenses section. Last 30 days, this month, this quarter, this year, last month, last quarter, and last year. Clicking the graph in the profit and loss section will open up a profit and loss report that shows the full breakdown of your income and expenses. As you can see, the home page gives a quick overview of your business financial health and makes it easy to keep an eye on what is going on with your money without ever having to run reports or dig too deeply into the program. Each of the sections in the home page will be covered in more depth in the following lessons. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.